Uh, we are at Chateau Coutet uh, with uh, Laurier and uh, Philippe, who is doing the filming right now, so we can't film Philippe, but we'll get him in a moment, um, uh, tasting the 2010, just the first lots uh, from the first, second, and third pickings. Uh, some lovely, lovely wines, beautiful freshness and acidity. Uh, and maybe, Laurier, you'd like to say a few words about how the 2010 worked out for you? Yes. Um, so, uh, 2010 is a very dry uh, vintage. Um, so, uh, we had uh, grapes that were very ripe uh, when the botrytization uh, started on the, on the grapes. So, uh, so, that's important to have very ripe grape uh, for the botrytis uh, to go uh, in. So we did uh, six pass uh, in, the, in the vineyard. So we try to separate uh, the different terroir that we have at Chateau Coutet. Uh, and we have uh, around 30 lots. 30? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Small lots, right? So small lots, right. between uh, 20 and uh, 45. Uh, Excuse me. Okay. Uh, so this is completely different from last year. Uh, when everything or a lot, most of the harvest happened in one picking. Yes, exactly. So Which this time it was yeah. right across. Last six year we eight. had uh, three passes, and uh, we are just 85% of the uh, vintage uh, at the second pass. Mm -hmm. So it was very fast. And, uh, so this year uh, it went. Uh, it was much longer with six pass. Uh, six so, years. so. Um, um, the bot the bot bot were, were was, to my opinion, stronger, I mean, uh, more developed than last year. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think it's going to be a very good vintage. Yeah. And, um, and the, the best pickings were when? I believe the best picking were uh, at the end of the third uh, pass. And so around mid-October? Yeah, and the fourth pass also. At the yeah. end of October? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, between the... Okay. 10 and 21 of October. Okay, and you finished just yesterday? And we finished yesterday. So yesterday. Today is the 4th of November. Yes. You finished on the 3rd. Yeah. So that's seven weeks of picking. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the big difference to last year. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Laurier. Yeah. Uh, here we're picking, we're picking, here we're tasting the produce of the third picking, the end of the third picking. So this is about around October the 20th, maybe? Uh, 15th, 20th? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and up to, up to that, the wines are now fermented. Yes. Um, so we can taste. Yes. And after that, they're not really tasteable right now, right? Um, the first lot is uh, tasteable, but uh, yes, it's, uh, it needs to, to sediment a little bit uh, yes. before uh, being tasted a bit uh, more easily. Okay, so Philippe, what do you uh, merci think beaucoup. about this wine? Uh, uh, Fellini, merci beaucoup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Philippe was Mr. Fellini just now because he was doing the filming of uh, Laurier. <laughs> so, uh, you have this glass of 2010. You have this of 2010. How do you see that? Extremely beau, bien équilibré. Mm -hmm. Very well balanced. Yeah. Very well balanced. Uh, That's all right. The orders are rushing in. C'est les commandes qui arrivent pour 2010. Oui, mais écoute, c'est un vrai bonheur. C'est alors, c'est des avant primeurs, ça. But what, what is the character of the vintage? Quel est le caractère du millésime par, par rapport à 2009, par exemple? C'est très difficile à dire maintenant. Euh, bon, enfin, quand même, on, est, on, on arrive quand même à des, à des niveaux qui, qui sont sensiblement les mêmes. So, uh, it's very difficult to actually put your, uh, pinpoint the character of the vintage at this early stage, um, but generally speaking, we're about the same level of quality as 2009. Oui. Mais moi, j'avais détecté une certaine... Peut-être peut euh, une meilleure, une plus grande vivacité. Voilà, une un plus grande un peu vivacité, plus de fraîcheur, euh, euh, un peu plus de fraîcheur. Mais enfin, mm -hmm. ça c'est mm -hmm. c'est la, la vie du euh, de Bill Blatch, hein, ah. mais on, on euh, qui est un grand dégustateur. Un dégustateur. Mais euh, ceci étant, c'est vrai qu'il y a quand même une peut-être une, une acidité un peu plus marquée. Oui. Uh, uh, so uh, the acidity uh, actually is yeah, yeah, slightly more. We were surprised by the level of acidity Good. when we tasted the wine okay. for the first time. Okay, because I found a certain freshness in those lots where we were tasting just now, which was which was really lovely. Yeah? Mais, mais, on est quand même à, 
en tout début. Hein. On a deux semaines d'élevage ou trois semaines d'élevage et il nous, il nous reste quand même. Of course, this is very early days. We're just uh, on the, the third week. Uh, the wines have been in the barrel. All the musts have been in the barrel. They've only just finished fermenting these musts. Uh, but I thought you know, it reminded me a little bit of 2007, 2007, un peu, avec, mais, mais en mieux. C'est toujours difficile de parler de d'amis et c'est mieux. Ok, no. all right, we'll, keep, we'll reserve judgment for later. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at a seriously, seriously good vintage, uh, similar in absolute quality to last year, the 2009. Thank you, Philippe. Vous nous voyez très souriants quand même. Oui, they're really smiling. <laughs> Laurier, give us a smile. <laughs>